Hello! Welcome to the Adult Education and Literacy Program of Warren County Junior College. If you're watching this video, it's because you already filled out an interest form to enroll this program. Now you have to do orientations and take an online test. Here's a list of what you will need. A computer, smartphone or tablet. You can work with any of these devices. Google Chrome. This browser is the one that works best with the program we use. Access to your email. Here you will receive the access link for your test. Strong internet connection. We suggest you to connect to Wi-Fi instead of mobile data. You can also run a speed test at www.speedtest.net to verify you have a strong connection. Microphone and camera. We need to hear and see you to confirm your identity. Once you are ready to begin, the first step is that you check that you already have Google Chrome in your device. If you don't have it, you can download it. It's very easy. You just have to search download Google Chrome in your current browser or in your app store if you're using a mobile device. Then you have to click on download Chrome and wait for this file to be downloaded. Then you just have to open it and wait for the installation process to finish. Once you are in Google Chrome, you have to open your email account and look for an email from ael at wcjc.edu about AEL orientations. Here you will see the assigned date and time for your test and you will also see a link to enter the virtual room. When you enter the virtual room, you will have to log in. You have to type your first name and your last name and then click Join Session. You will see a pop-up window asking you permission to use your microphone. You have to click on Allow. Then you will see a window where you can test your microphone. If you speak and the bar turns purple, it means that the microphone is working. And then you can click the button, yes, it's working. If it's not working, you can select another microphone or you can connect with a phone call. Keep watching this video to know how to do it. After that, you will see another pop-up window that asks you permission to access your camera. You have to click on Accept and then you will be able to see yourself in the middle of the screen. This means that it's working and you can press the button, yes, it's working. Now, I want you to look at the different buttons you have at the bottom of the screen. On the left side, you have a button with a person icon. Here you can see your status and settings. You will see an icon with bars on the right corner. If the bars are color green, it means your internet connection is excellent. But if it turns yellow or red, then you need to check your internet connection. Below that, you will see the Live Session button. You will use it when you finish your test. Then you have the microphone button. When you turn it on, people will hear what you say. If it's black and white, it means it's turned off. Next to it is the camera button. When you turn it on, you can share your video. You will see yourself first in the middle of the screen. And when you're ready, you have to click the button Share Video. On the right side, you have the raise hand button. This one is helpful when you want to take turns to participate in the session. On the right bottom corner, you will see a purple button. You have to click it to display the Collaborate panel. Here you have four buttons. First, you have the bubble icon. This is the chat. Here you can type your comments to have a written conversation with everyone in the session, including your instructor. Here you can see that the instructor is welcoming you to the session. Then, on the right, there's the People button. Here you can see the names of all the participants in this session. 
Then you have the sharing button where you will see files shared by the instructor. And finally, we have the settings button. Here you can set your microphone and camera. In case your microphone is not working, you can use your cell phone to connect your audio. You just have to call the number that shows up here and then you will hear a recording asking you to insert the PIN number followed by the pound sign. Then you have the bar to control your speaker's volume, which I suggest to have at 100%. Well, that's it for now. If you have any questions or problems, please contact the AEL office.